Hey everyone, Zach here from Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 11 version 22H2's first feature drop kind of. So Microsoft with this release of Windows 11 has decided that new features will ship at any point whenever they decide they are ready to go. Uh, and the first time that's happening is now. Uh, some point this month if you've not already got it you will see new features arrive on your Windows 11 22H2 PC. Uh, these feature drops don't have an official name frustrating um, but internally they refer to them as moment updates so this is moment one there may be more moments uh, throughout the next year but this is the contents of the moment one updates the first feature drop for windows 11 so let's not waste any time diving straight in uh, if we open up file explorer you'll notice that we now have tabs in the file explorer interface so they run along the top here just like a web browser you can add new tabs here and open different folders within the same window so we can have pictures open here we can have our downloads open there and all of those folders are operating within the one file explorer window if we come down here you'll see that it's just one window there and if i minimize this window all of those folders will minimize at the same time you don't need me to explain how tabs in an app work they're pretty common these days. But yes, File Explorer now has tabs. Unfortunately, it's a very rudimentary implementation of tabs. For example, I can't drag uh, this tab out to create a new window, which is kind of frustrating. If we right click it, we can close this tab or close the other tabs if we wanted to. Uh, if we open up a new File Explorer window here and try to drag a another tab between <laughs> windows, will that work? Let's give that a go. So if I drag videos here, no. So you can't you can't move tabs between uh, windows either. So yeah, like I said, this is a very rudimentary implementation of tabs. Uh, just the sort of basic functionality of a tabbed interface is here. Uh, but it does allow you to sort of organize different file explorer windows with certain folders. So if you're working in multiple folders in one window and multiple folders in another window, you can now sort of better organize that, which is really nice. Uh, but that's pretty much it for the tabs in file explorer. They cannot be turned off as far as I'm aware. They simply exist and uh, you can either use them or you don't have to use them. They if you don't use them, that's fine. File Explorer will behave exactly like it normally does if you don't use them. But if you do use them, uh, that is uh, going to be awesome for you. And you can, of course, right click on uh, different folders here to open in a new tab, just like you can in a web browser. And that works as you would expect. Also new with this version is an update to Nearby Share, which will now sort of show more than just tablets. I know this says tablet here, but it will now show desktops as well. So if I wanted to share this file to another device, I click on that. Uh, and then on the other PC, I get an alert that says, hey, you are, would you like to receive this? And you can say yes. And then that will send like so, which is pretty nice. Uh, but again, that now works with more device types, including Microsoft says desktops. So that's pretty cool. Now, another new improvement to the File Explorer is this new Home tab. Uh, it's a slightly different layout to what was the default home page experience on File Explorer before. You now have the ability to pin files to this area by right clicking them and selecting pin. You have your most frequently visited folders at the top here. We have the new pin section in the middle and then below that are a list of recent documents that you've opened. Okay, so up next, if we go into settings here, there will be a new feature, depending on the region you're in, uh, called suggested actions. So if we come down to clipboard here, you'll see suggested actions here. Get suggestions for actions when you copy a date, time, or phone number. So what this feature does is allow you to sort of jump to common tasks when you copy, as Microsoft says there, a date, time, or phone number. If we have a phone number here and we highlight that and select copy, uh, this little menu will drop down, which will give you a quick action for calling this number. So if you have phone links set up or if you have, say, Skype or Teams installed, uh, quick actions to jump into those apps from here using this phone number will be present. The same happens for dates. If I copied a date, it would be like, hey, would you like to create an event in your calendar in the Windows Calendar app or Outlook, for example? And that is how that works. So that's pretty cool. It allows you to quickly initiate tasks depending on what kind of format you've just copied to your clipboard. Uh, but that's pretty nice. So a couple more changes with this release. The first one is that the taskbar uh, now has the ability to launch task manager via its right click menu. So if you right click anywhere on the taskbar, you'll see an option to launch task manager, which is really nice. Uh, and then the last thing is they've also updated the taskbar overflow menu. So when you have multiple apps open and no space left on the taskbar to to display running apps they will now go into a new overflow menu which looks a little bit like this and it's much nicer it works easier it's more 
concise it's cleaner the previous version was terrible it would kind of be confusing some icons would get lost but with this one it's very clear they're in an overflow menu you click on the overflow button and then you can see the rest of the apps that you have running which is really nice uh, but there you are that is a quick look at the windows 11 moment one or feature drop one update uh, thank you so much for watching and we shall see you in the next one bye bye